Yeah. Or it's just easier for me to do that now. Sometimes you just have to get caught into the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. <coughs> Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. <laughs> On third down, here's Richardson. Oh, that's in the double team, and it's intercepted. That was here. Picked off by Andre Cisco, and the Jags are going to take possession of the football. Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him, and what I mean by that is what you said, third and long. Got to push it down field to try and pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation, and they took advantage of the young man right there. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Straight ahead, ETN. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. It's Xavier Rhodes there in on the stop. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. And they'll go again to ETN. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped by that. Silly play. I know he's down 10, so he probably was thinking. Going to get a field goal. Yeah. Yeah, it's not even that. I don't know what that is. I should have blocked. I wasn't paying attention. My guy got through. Oh, and it's roughing the kicker instead. I wasn't paying attention. I ran into him. Now he gets to go again. First down. Oh, because I was doing that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to have I didn't know you. I'm not staying. Two to go on second down. Boy, we're going to be able to get a That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's a give to ETN. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Travis ETN. And I wasted a timeout too because they called a flag on it after I called the timeout. He missed it. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at Detroit. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a 
mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Second and ten, back to the air with Richardson. This pass caught, it's Woods. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Breaking down at the 49. On first down, Richardson. Yes! And he got out of bounds. Let's go! Field goal makes it back to a six point game because he missed that field goal. This one goes for 19 yards. I got it. More than double than what he posted as a rookie. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it's knocked away. Oh, no, no. These two teams, division rivals, of course. And you remember back to Week 18 last year, although Colts fans don't want to remember back to Week 18 last year. The Colts needed a win. Can I make sure it's plugged in all the way, please? We're kind of looking ahead to 2022. But the two win Jags came up with one of the shockers of the season. They stunned the Colts 26-11 to in Jacksonville. And that loss ultimately kept Indianapolis home for the playoffs. Throwing again, it's Richardson on second down. That is caught, Michael Pittman with it. Go for the touchdown. I'm on the seven yard line. But there's no time now. Yeah, there's only four seconds. There's no time. I got to play. I got to play. Hopefully. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. A final shot before the half. Richardson to the end. Oh, one second left. He dropped it, though. Anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Gotta take the field goal. With one second left, they gave me, a, I got lucky. There could have been zero seconds and no so points. I'll take six point games. The two point conversion makes it two touchdowns. I'd rather go for a two point conversion than go for this and not get it. Woods dropped it. He had it in the end zone. He dropped it. He's only a 70 something, barely 70 overall tight end. If I had Gasicki, that would have been a touchdown. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Jaguars with work to do. They trail here as we are back underway on EA Sports. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. You're up. Can you make sure the stove's all off? Why would it be on? <laughs> Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football. Make sure all the knobs are on off. It's only half of that, right? No burner on? Because his game plan is always on at this point in the game and the situation they're in part <coughs> completions that we're seeing they need to turn into positive snaps and soon
An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Thank you. And he's going to intercept the third zone. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And he will bring it back. And interception return for the first TD. Well, Charles with some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half, and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. Hey, that's a great observation, too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate that those defenders get to add to the lead directly. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This field right at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. I just thought you wanted to be right there. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pit six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pit six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines to well for the very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to its home. On second down, a run with ETN. That's a run he's gone. It's the second time he's gone. Oh, he it's the second time he's gone. Jaguars. But go ahead and give him the hat trick. He's been in the end zone now three times. You, you toss your fedora first, okay? You go ahead and do that. But let's be honest about it. That third one. That's the most spectacular run he's had in the ball game. It's almost as if he's been playing his own game of can three, I top this? Three, two, and each run is more long touchdown. than the last. After the touchdown, he's got 162 he's rushing yards. Way. Most of that's ATM. Yeah. Or it might be all ATM. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And some room to run now. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 85 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Well, you certainly have to give him a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Play action. Now Richardson. Eyes the crossing route and he finds Brickman. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Off play action. Richardson rolling to his right. A quick throw, but incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. 
But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. On second down, it's Taylor. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. An incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting him to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Richardson shotgun on third down. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get it, sometimes you pick Richardson hit and he fumbles. He picked it up though. First down. They got four yards to pick up the first. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone of the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the heart. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Second down, another run with Taylor. Ooh, and the second okay. wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings well. up a third down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. If they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. The Jags with five in the secondary now on third down. They run once more with Taylor. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, he's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Richardson to throw off play action. Throw it to I one as well. Then. Huh? Throwing the football, he's not as sharp as he was last week. He was over 70% right now. He's under 50%. That comes from extra game film, extra time. You said you threw it to R1, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you got shot. Oh, I thought you said... Sorry, baby. Sorry. 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 Sorry.
Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. But if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive in less than the double digit snaps. You need a score here, not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And Ingram holds it in. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. Boy, so another interception, CD. It feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start turning out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it. Or you start thinking about going to a backup. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Richardson looking to throw. He finds Pierce. It's complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Richardson to the air on first down. Complete. He couldn't hold on through the contest. Brings up second down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That one goes for 24 yards. I don't know if I've ever ran this play, but it's in my playbook. Just a quarterback run for it, so let's see what happens. And all that other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. So I think that play works a little bit. It's their quarterback. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. By rule, that comes out to the 40-yard line, so a good opportunity for this offense with solid field position. Go. 
So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. And they'll run here with ETN. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. On second down, ETN once more. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. But in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuck that one behind the line of scrimmage. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. Here we go, got to have it, Lawrence, and some space here, and they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Ronnie Harrison that time able to make the tackle. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Throwing on second and eight, Lawrence. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been a true throw for him. I don't know what he thinks going on out there, CD. That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident throw right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. And they'll try and throw forward with Lawrence. Over the middle, he's got his tight end Ingram. And he is going to have the Jaguars first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. Okay. I am going to have die first now. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Here's ETN. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. 196 yards. I wanted him not to get 200 yards so bad. They can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Second down, ETN wants more. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do. I'm coming after him. I don't want him getting 200 yards. I'd rather score as a touchdown. He's out meeting with these running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. That's complete. Right around the eight. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be fourth down. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. They're going on fourth down. Lawrence on the move. Interception. Another interception. 
Picked off by Shaquille Leonard, the linebacker. And the Colts are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. And you have to wonder, Charles, in a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? But based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And he's got Pierce. And they're going to get this all the way out past the 20. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. And they were backed up to start the drive, and not anymore. Now that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They go play action with Richardson. And now look at this, big game. He fumbled it. And the Jags grab it. And they take over, they'll set up shot at the 46 yard line. They made him fumble it. I don't understand. They made him fumble it. So because there is a phrase in today's football that we use all the time: completing the process of the catch. Well, it's after you do that where the trouble begins, right? Meaning you've tucked it away. You're trying to get downfield, but someone's always coming up. And my goodness, another interception picked off by Julian Blackman. And the Colts will see the fucking bomb over there. said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They're looking at a third straight win here if they can hold on. And he'll be taken down here and that is how this one is going to come to an end. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. And understandable so they get the win. But boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for Indianapolis, their good start continues as they get their record up to 4-2. and two. And they will hit the road next week to take on the... Do you have a vote? What? For your TV? Yeah. Do you want me to serve up the food? Or you want to see your game? That's why I left on the hot stove, so just keep the warm. Actually, it's 8 points for guys, 317 yards. 300. That was last game. Have we closed the shutters all over the place? Yeah. Look. These are all my guys that are going to be free agents. Mm -hmm. I'll probably resign him because he's mm -hmm. been loyal. He's been good for me every every team I've had him on. Mm -hmm.
might pick him up because he's fairly cheap. I might just pick him up in regular free agency. I might let him walk and then pick him up. Him too. Mm -hmm. I don't care about any of these guys. They're all old and backups, really. Um, it's my whole team. I need to resign. There's people I don't care to resign. 66 overall, I don't care about him. And look at how much money I'm going to have available. 81 million. Mm -hmm. He's the only dude I got to resign. Well, he's not interested. What's the word? Another game? I don't know. Finding out. I've got some monitors for you. I don't know. I've got a monitor for you. I've got a monitor for you. 